So this question is a diagram question. Really, I call any question that provides some visual input a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So whenever I see a graph, I pay very close attention to the points on that graph, right? So for instance, this point here, let's see, this y value would be a 2. This is negative 1 negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So that point there is the point negative 4, comma, 2, right? And we see that this point here is negative 2, comma, 0, and we have 0, comma, 2 for that y-intercept there, and then 2, comma, 0 here, and uh, again, this would be 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be 4, comma, 2 for that point there. So once I pay attention to those points, um, I recognize that each of those ordered pairs can potentially become X and Y values to plug into an equation. But let's read the question and see exactly what we're asked to do with this function, with this graph. So the question says, the figure above shows the complete graph of the function F in the XY plane. The function G, not shown, is defined by, let me just write that down, G of X is equal to F of X. Plus six. Okay, so what is this question telling us? The graph is f of x, so f of x equals the graph that we see. But there's some g of f, that g of x that's not graphed, and it equals what I just wrote down. What is the maximum value of the function g? Right. So I want to find the maximum value of this. Obviously, the g of x is based upon f of x. So let's clean this up a little bit so we can see very clearly here. So I'd assume that the greatest value that I can get for g of x will be or will coincide with the greatest value of f of x, right? So when I look at my graph, the highest value that f of x can equal is 2, right? Is these three points here. So when, so f of x equals 2, that gets, like that's a, that's a f of x max, I'll call it. So I'm going to say g of x max is equal to f of x max plus 6, okay? So therefore, if f of x max is 2, we get 2 plus 6 here. So g of x, the maximum value for g of x is equal to 8, right? Because 2 plus 6 is 8. So my answer here is 8.